Dog Brain! Got a head of fiery hair and a turbocharged backpack. His genius sisters use him like a lab rat. A neat free dad at home, a super busy mom. But the boy's best friend is a talking dog. That's right. Extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny, 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 this is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. are facing a threat that can destroy all life as we know it. Is it an alien invasion? Is there a meteor approaching? Ah, you... Worse. I am talking about Susan, Mary, and Johnny Test. <laughs> the Test kids have caused more damage to this city than earthquakes, floods, and summer music festivals combined. Mission to Mars launching. What do you suggest we do? Well, I suggest that you put an end to their mayhem for good. Huh? Uh, but first, put that weapon away for me, will you? That's an order! You've been ordered to spy on us? Don't think of it as spying. Think of it as secretly watching you to make sure you're not up to any dangerous experiments. Don't worry, you'll never even know we're here. It's safe. You can drink it now. Scanning backpack. Scanning Johnny. I have been ordered to follow you, Johnny, so wherever you go, I go. Hey, Susan, Mary, I'm having a pool party and I was wondering if you... They'll be there, and I'll be there too, to make sure they don't experiment and turn everyone at your party into lizards and decide everyone needs an extra leg. On second thought, I'm not having a pool party, so... Bye! Tell Johnny I said hi, though. Letters! Hey, I have my orders. And until I hear otherwise, I'm like cheese all over your macaroni. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a bad head cold. So, you're enjoying their spying like us. We're just following orders. We need a plan. <laughs> But it's big, not microbe. Yeah, we can see that. But when the 10 million gigawatt shrink rays blast it, it will become microscopic so we can get you inside the annoying spy guys. Yeah, uh, I'm not getting in that. What if we get lost? Y you can't stop for directions when you're inside a dude, you know. Relax. It comes complete with an automatic pilot and fully stocked snack bar. <laughs> What's the plan? We shrink you, get you inside Mr. Black's, then Mr. White's bodies, where the autopilot will take you to the brain and erase the memory of them getting the order from the general to spy on us. Right, because with no memory of the order, they can't follow it. Yeah. Let the autopilot do everything, unless there's a malfunction. In which case, we'll contact you and instruct you what to do manually so you can complete the mission and not get trapped inside them forever and croak. Say what? Blast away! Microprocessing complete. And in the lemonade it goes. Okay, we know these are androids and you tried to trick us. Yes, and we're very sorry. So please accept this lemonade as a sign of being sorryful. <laughs> Ooh, 
Apology accepted. What? I don't get a glass. Later! <laughs> Chips, candy, pie? This guy really should eat better. Now let's just let Otto here get to the brain, erase that memory, and kids will stop laughing at me. What's that? The, the, what's gastroeric pressure? Got a headache. Malfunction. Autopilot shutting down. That can't be good. Hello! Mayday! We are stuck inside a dude! Help! Uh -oh. What's that mean, lost contact? Nothing! It means nothing! Okay, let's use the emergency escape button and blast out of- No! I've got to erase that memory first. Now, to search for a memory with the general and test. Whoa! Uh, was that supposed to happen? Okay, general, test, Johnny. Found Johnny, Susan, and Mary test. And that's in order. That's it. Now to hit delete. You're a with you, huh? Yeah, got a headache. Bad headache. Oh. Ah. And it's hurting worse now. What's he doing? What's going on? Either he's having a nervous breakdown or his brain's animal instinct has been enlarged. Oh, oh, oh. Here, boy. Fetch! How did this happen? What was in that lemonade? How can I put this without you freaking out? Johnny! What? And we've lost contact with him. Johnny? Johnny was in the lemonade? But we're supposed to stop you from doing dangerous experiments. I know. You're not very good at your jobs. <laughs> okay, now let's use the emergency escape button. It's probably an electrical leak. And when the microbe mobile runs out of power, we'll be fine. Hey, what does that mean, no power? I'm fine now. It's cool. See? Wait, out of power? <gasps> We're stuck. We're stuck in here forever! Don't worry, Susan and Mary are probably working on a solution to get us out right now. We lost our brother inside a man's head. Dad is gonna freak! We were supposed to make sure you girls didn't do any experiments. The general is gonna freak. I can almost hear him straining his vocal cords yelling at us. Wait, vocal cords? I think I know a way to get a message to Johnny. Uh, what are you doing? Pressing colorful buttons because Susan and Mary are not helping! <laughs> Johnny, you have to go outside the micro machine and attach the jumper cables to a brain synapse and wait for a supercharge. Right, because the brain is full of electrical pulses. And we'll use those to charge the batteries. Ah! Oh, and one more tiny little thing. If you see a scary looking head cold virus, don't let it touch you. So I get a cold, I'll just stay home from school. Cool. Yeah, if you were normal size. But a virus on a microscopic Johnny and Dookie will, um, make you go bye-bye. Hurry up, the virus is coming! There's no charge! What's it take to get electricity around here? Oh. Caffeine and sugar! <clears throat> Hot coffee for brain buzzing and chocolate bars for sugar rushing. That should give his brain a boost. Here comes the electricity! <laughs> and here comes the virus! One more pot! <laughs> Punch it, Johnny! Ah, my headache's back! <laughs> I love you, Floor. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And we love you. Don't get used to this.
Ahem. Huh? We're sorry, but we don't like being spied on. Well, we don't like spying. All we really want is a vacation, but the general never gives us one. It hurts. It really hurts. Hmm. Well, maybe we can change his mind. Black, white, thanks for the lemonade. Stop spying on the test kids and go on vacation. That's an order. Yes, sir. We are such geniuses. Everybody, it's that time of year again! Vacation planning time! Let's go to Hawaii and surf the pipeline. <laughs> no, Johnny. We're not going surfing. Right. So we'll live with the lions on an African safari. turn to decide where we go this year. Hmm. The Dusty Western Dude Ranch. You'll have fun, Johnny, just like kids did in the Old West. Think about it, a whole week with no TV, video games, or pod players. Ah! Hi, I'm Julie. And no cell phones. There were no cell phones in the Old West. Yahoo! Ah! Oh. I mean, oh, that's okay. Who needs phones? Hand them over. <laughs> and your ankle facts. Ooh. Now you're ready to do French. Bye now. Now, let's have a great vacation. <laughs> Why would Susan and Mary pick a dude ranch? I don't even see any dudes. Hey, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Hi, Gil. Hey, girls I've never seen before. <sighs> oh, you forgot your drool block. And he will know our names by the end of this vacation. Are you telling me the only reason you picked this late vacation is because Gil is here? Yeah, that's right. Come on, it'll be great. There's 110 degrees, there's hot, sweaty barn animals, and dirt and tumbleweeds. <laughs> now let's do Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> You're riding the Dude Ranch Chugga Train. Hands inside the train and duck for the tunnel. <laughs> hey, all you can eat jerky. Just put in your room key. Get me some. Fine, hang on. Cool. Uh, do they look hungry to you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Careful of the razorbacks. They can be pesky little critters. Yahoo! <laughs> can this vacation get any worse? Oh, hello, Jonathan. I stuck a GPS tracking device into your dreamy sister's suitcase. Thus, I am vacationing here, too. Of course you are. Whoa, you're dusty. You should try the pool. It has an Old West feel and a totally cool super water slide. Water slide? Ah, <sighs> oh, Gil. Ah, oh, Susan. Cannonball! Not a dog. I have a rare hair disorder. <laughs> I didn't know they had such cool pools back in the Old West. They did. But if we didn't have a great pool, no one would come. This is gonna be the greatest vacation ever. Huh? Oh no! It's Wild Whip and Willie and his pig pack. Oh. She sounds scared. Why did she sound scared? Everybody, out on 
my pool! I'm gonna talk to the manager. Being invaded by a mad whipping biker was not in the brochure. I'm sorry. Willie and the pick pack vacation here once a year. He terrifies the guests, then leaves. Then we ask to wash the pool and everything's normal again. But the good news is, he'll leave you alone as long as you stay in your rooms all week. All week? This is unacceptable. Call the police, now! We don't have phones. You know, the old west. Yahoo! <laughs> More like Toodle Who. Let's go, kids. <gasps> My station wagon. That's the go. Demolition Derby. <laughs> Okay, we can still have fun. We'll all just have to stay in the main lodge all day and night and play games. And eat beef jerky for a week. <laughs> Last time, Eugene, we are sick of playing charades. It's bling bling boy, and it's so obvious I'm an isotope. <laughs> At least I'm trying, people! Dinner time! This is the last of the jerky, so take small bites. Jerky? We're all sick of jerky! Okay, new plan. We passed a general store about 20 miles back when we drove here. Your mom and I are gonna sneak out and get some real food and call for help. If we're not eaten by buzzards, we'll be back in about five hours. Don't leave this room. <laughs> so you've lived right next door to me for 13 years? Yeah. And you're Johnny's sisters? Yeah. Still not ringing a bell. <sighs> Those pig poopers took my one week away from school and I'm trapped. I want my vacation back. Oh, they're an army of big burly guys with big burly motorcycles. <laughs> and Whip and Willie who whips stuff. And who smells bad and scares me. And all we've got is a short brown kid obsessed with Susan, a hunky teen with a gleaming smile, two genius sisters, a dog that can talk to animals, and one piece of jerky. Did that dog just talk? No. no. I've got an idea. Oh, volleyball is fun! I love volleyball! Oh, oh, oh. This is Red Leader to Round Pound. Are you ready? Round Pound, ready for launching. Here, go. Here, go to go, go. Nay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah! Red leader to flamethrower. Stand by. Now! Hey. It's a natural flammable gas. Maybe this wasn't the best plan. <laughs> Nobody ruins wild whipping Willie's vacation. Let him go, Willie. This lame, dusty dude ranch place isn't big enough for the two of us. Choose your weapon. <laughs> You're gonna fight me with beef jerky? <laughs> uh oh. Well, kid, you lose. Uh, I don't think so. May look hungry. <laughs> And now, you're all wet. I'll never come back here again! Johnny. Johnny! Johnny! <gasps> that was fun. Look at everyone having fun, even the critters. Susan.
Susan, Mary, I thought I'd bring you a sarsaparilla. Thanks. And maybe you could come over sometime and hang out. Do you live nearby? We live next door to you. We're Johnny's sisters? Uh, not ringing a bell. Letters! At least he knows our names. Um, is this lounge chair taken? You can sit, but only for today. Bling, bling. Oh, she said my name! <laughs>